Hey there, on the line from Volleyball 101. I uh, wanted to knock out a quick uh, video on some technique uh, and some blocking examples using the step close. Uh, it's great getting some feedback from you guys. Uh, some of the questions I'm getting include, uh, well, if you're showing your feet one way, doesn't that stop you from blocking and you actually, uh, your opponent knows what you're doing? No, that's not the case. Um, you actually... Uh, have a lot of flexibility of where you're blocking because you're actually ending up with your feet parallel and it gives you a power base to explode off of. Uh, also, uh, you may have lateral, uh, limited lateral movement uh, if you're going in the direction where you are not uh, blocking, uh, so you're not prepared or opened up to. And again, I'm going to show you an example of that. Okay, so uh, this is a video from a match... I don't know, maybe two weeks ago, I played in the open at my birthday. Uh, wasn't a great day. You know, I had a fair amount of blocks, but my partner was really struggling on starting out in defense. But it was still fun. So, uh, this is a game in the playoffs. Uh, we're playing Oz and Dave Smith. You know, uh, pretty solid players. You know, uh, we're all a little older now, but, you know, uh, solid AAA players back in the day. Um, so, let's watch this. Okay, so um, let me set the tone a little bit. Uh, wind is coming offshore, so it's coming off the ocean this way. Um, that's obviously going to impact everything. Um, and yeah, I am serving. I'm the guy in the gray. Uh, Oz is on the left and white. Dave Smith is in the army pants. Okay, let's pause this. So you can notice on this very first play, I am blocking line. I must probably be blocking line seam knowing me. I don't like to just block a line. I like to block line seam. Um, I've got my right leg off the net so that I can pull back into the line. Okay, this is a middle set. So my right leg is off. If this ball was on the antenna, my left leg would be off. But because it's middle, I want to open up with my right side out. Okay, uh, Oz is being smart. He's a smart player. So he's going up and down set middle so that he can hit back into this wind. And Dave gives him a pretty good set. Okay, now one of the big things that people were talking to me about was, hey, this is an, uh, I'm giving away what I'm blocking because of my footwork. Also, how I'm going to block the other thing, uh, in this case, angle, if my footwork is backwards. Okay, so let's watch this in full speed. Boom. Cool. Okay, so let's watch that in slow mo. Okay, so you will notice I start to get a read on him. He's coming in pretty hard. Um, so ball set a ball hitter. I'm now on the hitter. I've got a good read. I'm watching him. Okay, and I make my move. Notice how my step close gets my feet parallel. Once my feet are parallel, it gives me a really strong base to explode off of. Okay. So I make a solid, strong, aggressive move into the angle with my left hand and my right arm is coming straighter on the ball. Boom. Good block. And house. Okay, so uh, Oz started starting out better, you know. So in this next play, we went off to Dave Smith, okay. And I think this is a good opportunity to watch. Now, Oz is pretty smart, so we're worried about hitting him, hitting on two. And I think he had already hit on two, so let's watch how this play unfolds. So you'll notice, okay, I'm basically locked in inside here, okay. So notice my footwork. I'm worried about the option set. So I am far more in than I would ideally like to be. Ideally, I would like to be here on the pin. Uh, it's an offshore set. So the wind's coming in. I want that ball blowing into me and then step closing into the middle from the pin, step close this way. But because of the option, it kind of messed me up. So I'm like a little bit out of position. Now, one of the big things people are worried about is, do you have lateral movement sideways in this position? So people are going, okay, well, on door, you're step closing. You can have lateral movement pretty effectively here, but you're not going to have lateral movement here very effectively. Okay. So let's watch this example in full speed. Okay, let's watch that in slow-mo now. So you can notice I'm out of position. 
I have to get all the way further out. I take my lateral step with my left step now first. So I take a big left step, boom, left, right, and I square myself back up on him. Okay. Now notice my arm position. I am straight with my left arm on the ball. And basically, my right arm has taken the seam angle. Um, you know, and I was able to get in front of him and still have a great block on this play. Okay. Um, I think this is something that you don't see enough with like a Ryan in that he isn't always necessarily pushing enough with his inside hand. I think he just never got trained indoor. Uh, you'll see that in some of the other videos I shot onto him. Um, when I was talking about this technique, you know, he is normally jumping across and as he jumps across, both his arms are straight. He doesn't leave this arm into the angle like that, in my opinion. Okay, um, so good block. Boom. Now this is an interesting play. Now Oz is a smart player. So what's Oz's best shot in this play? He's going to be smart and hit back into the wind. Now I'm not stupid, so I'm looking for that, okay? Uh, I am expecting that short angle, okay? Um, right now, what did I call that? I give a call to my partner. Okay, I called line. There's the one finger. Okay, so I'm blocking line. So I'm pulling line. Okay. I get a good read on him. Now, notice because of my hip is open, how I can step this. Boom. Good read. Open hip. Really easy move. Not great defense. We're both on this, which is funny. And I take that ball a little bit higher. I should maybe have taken that ball lower or had my partner call me off. Okay, and we miss it. <laughs> okay, but again, I think those are two good examples. I think it covers a few things, those three videos. Um, one, you can jump into the angle even though you have different footwork. Number two, you can step close even into the area where you don't want to and still front your header very effectively. And then three, I think this shows you the ability to really make a fast crossover move. Notice how fast I opened up now. Look how big that step is. I can get there. So I get all the way across. I can almost take a bigger step and take that ball lower. Okay. Um, so if you have questions, let me know. I'm always looking for feedback. Uh, you know, I know you're going to have some haters here that disagree with me. I love it. So tell me why. Uh, only suggestion I have is before you tell me why it's wrong, try it. You know, I work with a lot of players. Uh, from all levels, from the youngest level to the high oldest level and all levels of experience. And I've got players in the ABP and FIBB that love this technique. Uh, younger players, this is a no-brainer, especially with the need to pull off the net far more at that age level, as well as uh, women's volleyball. Okay, uh, see more videos, go to volleyball101.com, and those videos are available if you look under Step Close Beach Volleyball Blocking Technique. Thank you. Oh, and I'm on to July, the owner of Volleyball 101.